One of the most difficult things to be done in the 3D programs is glass and water. And this is what I'm going to show you in this tutorial, how to create realistic glass and realistic water glass in Unity HDRP. I will start with the geometry in order to find 3D model you can get some of these free sites for 3D models or you can model one for yourself. Here I've prepared a bottle and a glass. I will start with the glass because it's simpler. Um, pay attention to it. If you press the F4 for 3ds Max or for the other softwares, there is an option for this make sure that your cylindrical objects are smoothed. In order to do this, add the smooth modifier, press auto smooth and then I'll just collapse it into edit poly. After that, I will export this as FBX with the right click Export selected if you want to know how to create um, a quotes like this, which gives you a super fast access to the options. You can check our videos for the quotes and I'll save it as a glass. Okay. But if you don't want to create your custom quotes, the option to export it, just select the object, go to file export, export selected, and then simply export it. Okay. After that, I will go to Unity and simply drag and drop my FBX into the project here, and then I'll drag it into the scene. like this. Okay. Now is the time to create the material. Right click here in the project, create material. I will name it accordingly and put it to the mesh with a drag and drop. So we can see the changes that we're going to do. Firstly, make the surface type transparent. Here we can see already some effect. Press back then front. I'll show you later why. Then go to the base material map. And here below, put this here the alpha channel, something like here, so we can see it through. What else do we need for a glass? We need some metallic effect and some smoothness, like this. And I will make the base material also not super white, maybe somewhere here. Further than below. The next option that we're going to choose will be here the refraction model. I will choose the box. It will take a bit time to calculate it. Of course, it depends on how fast your computer is. And voila, we have something that looks way more like a glass. Of course, you can leave it like this, but we can play a bit further. So for the refraction, I can add a bit more of it. And here for the thickness, I would like to add a map 
just this is simple white texture, 2D texture, the way that Unity accepts it. And why I did add it? Because it gives me one more menu over here, the thickness remapping, and I can play a bit with it. Pay attention here to the ends, to the rims of the glass. So there is cool effects that you can achieve with this slider. And here you can see how it distorts the image behind. From here on you can continue playing um, with these options. Of course you can give it some color if you like, if there there is a need for it. And sometimes as I said uh, there is a bug in the transparent objects and this thick front, back then front, uh, solves it. That's why I prefer to use it for the transparent materials. In this case the geometry is clean and there is no bug like this, but let me show you in the next example how it's going to look like. So it's not bad for a simple glass, even if we go here inside of it. Of course this here can be fixed with more faces to the geometry, but this is this will take more memory and will make the performance worse. Alright, let's fill the glass with water. I will jump again in 3ds Max and here I will add one more edge. I will press here the edge option and put it over here. This will be the line for my water. Then I will go and select this the inner part and create shape form selection. Call it water, ok. And then I will choose this guy over here, create edit poly and then collapse it convert into editable poly and this is going to be my water. I will yeah you can attach this to one object or you can export it like this but I will attach it to one single object. I'll just make sure that I have a different material here for the second object. I will assign this material I just need to make sure that this has a, another ID like this and let's make it blue so we can distinguish between both ok great then I'll export this again. Like this. So now we're going to have two glasses, one empty and one full. Again I will repeat it, I'll drag and drop this into Unity. Like this. And put it over here next to the first one. I will assign the glass material here and then I'm co I'll copy and paste the same one, the same material, I'll name it water and I will assign it here to the top surface. As we can see the result is not too bad. There is some strange distortion over here but the main problem is that it is a surface, just a flat surface. And if we think about the reality and the physical world, the water has a volume, it is a volume. And the thing that we need to change is to turn this into volume as well. 
I will go back to the geometry and delete this surface for a while. Then I will select this the bottom surface, press grow grow and again grow. Then touch this for a second and then choose this object here. This will be my water. Press the border and cap it like this. Then super important thing, this here are the surfaces that we're going to see. I will flip them so they're not inverted. I want to be inverted to the outside, the normals. And if I select all of the surfaces, then I need to flip this as well and everything is uh, light red. Here is the difference. Okay. And then now I have this is my glass and this is my water. Um, I will just make sure that that they have two materials like this and if I attach them to one object I have here two materials okay great then I will export this this as new FBX and to repeat the process over here I made like this because I want to show you the differences. So I'll drag it next to the other samples and let me see the result. Here is the, the, the glass and here is the water. And now I need to make some adjustments to the water material because now it's just a copy paste of the glass and I'll go below here to the transmit transmittance color and give it a bit of something like this you can put whatever you want of course you could turn it into wine of course if you like but let's check now for the water maybe something like this and now you can play you can see the difference first of all if we have from the empty glass and the filled glass and you can see the difference between a glass with volume like it's in the physical world and just a surface of course you can make it even more realistic if you play with the index of refraction of the water is 133 but if you want to do something funky or something else you can do whatever you like this 133 it's according to um, the physical world and Wikipedia and so on but now we can see we have this realistic results Please let me know in the comments below what you think about it, what your approach is going to be. And if you found something useful in the video, please give a like and leave a comment. One thing, last thing I would like to add is an example with the bottle. Here are, you can find the models that the things that, I sh that I've shown in the video are already created, meaning the water has a volume and it's separated from the bottle. But the, the, the one thing that I've noticed and tested many times, if you have too many transparent uh, surfaces behind each other, there is a bug. And I'll show you if I attach this glass over here, there are some strange distortions. and. If I assign here the water, at some point you can see it, but maybe from this view, from this angle, 
but the way that it works for sure, at least to the according to my experience, it's when you delete the inner part of the surfaces of the glass, so to say. The one that I've deleted over here, meaning that here, this is uh, the volume of the water, and here, all of this, it's the volume of the glass, something like this. Now we have only two transparent, in this way we have only two transparent surfaces behind each other, and it looks, according to my, opi my opinion, okay, reasonable. Of course, you can continue playing with the smoothness, the different, to make the look of the water and the glass even more different than it is, so you can distinguish between them even more, but this is according to your personal needs and taste. Thank you for being with us for this tutorial and see you in the next video. By the way, if you like also this wooden slats here, we have a video how to create them, you will find the link in the description. Bye for now guys and see you in the next video. If you enjoyed anything in the video, then drop a like and a big thank you to everyone who does. If you haven't subscribed yet, click below and join us. We have some great videos coming up that you don't want to miss. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.